morning guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna try to do like a vlog basically just showing me making food throughout the day and also my workout it is currently 705 in the morning today is my off day i have a little bit more time to be able to do stuff so like i said today i want to do like a what i eat in a day so usually i fast between eight and 12 or 8 and 11 whatever 8 to 16 hours is i usually do that but i haven't been off for the last few days so today i just want to eat three meals a day so once i work out maybe like an hour later i will make some breakfast um today i got a recipe off of pinterest i like to make this chicken and rice um casserole dish i used to love it growing up so i wanted to make that and for lunch, we may eat like a salad or a sandwich. And breakfast, I may just eat some eggs. Also, I found a recipe for like, I think it's like bananas, chocolate chips, and oats. It's like a snack. So I may make that as well. So we'll just see what today has in store. I know I've been off of making videos for a while since vlogging. So I just want to get back in the swing of things and just start off somewhere. So like I said, today's video will probably be like a what I eat in a day type of video because I am on a healthy journey and I will link my um, fitness page across the screen. So if you want to, you can follow me there to see how my fitness journey slash health journey is going. If you want to see what I eat in a day or what I have planned today, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and comment below. Let me know where your health goes for this year. So let's get into the workout. <music> Like these went right pretty quick. I don't know why, but yeah. So since I have some ripe bananas, I was gonna make some banana nut bread, but I was like, let me do something a little bit healthier. I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna make this three ingredients banana oatmeal cookies. I found this recipe on Pinterest. So I'm gonna try this out. So all you need is some oatmeal. There's a half a cup of oatmeal, half a cup of roll, and one quick cup of quick. I don't think we have any quick ones, so it would just be all rolled for me. And then two medium bananas and some mini chocolate chips. I don't have mini chocolate chips. I have regular chocolate chips, so I only will put a few in there. So now I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. Let that start. And now, excuse my messy pantry. I hope to do a organization with me soon. So let me find the oatmeal. So here's some protein oats, the chocolate chips. So they have a lot of different chocolate chips. So I'm gonna use the semi-sweet ones. So this is all you need to make the recipe that I have. I'm gonna make this. I'll link this recipe down below if I like. I'm gonna use two bananas. And I'm gonna mush this up. My fiance do not like bananas, so I will be eating all of this alone. So it's weird, cause the outside looked really ripe, but the inside do not. And this is what my bananas looks like. Now I want to add in some oat. So 
this is what it looks like. I added one and a half cups of protein oats, cause that's what we have. And I mixed in some chocolate chips. It calls for mini chocolate chips, but I only have regular size chocolate chips. And this is what it looks like. All I did was mix it together. I didn't wanna put too many chocolate chips in there because it's supposed to be healthier. I'm gonna transfer this into a, so all I'm gonna do is take some of my mixture and I'm gonna form a cookie. I hope this is enough oatmeal. I wanna say that it's not. If you are a person who do not like touching different textures, I would say just scoop it and just put it on the pan because it feels weird because of the banana. I washed the dishes. It was like three items, just so I won't have to do it later. So now my oven is done preheating. So I'm going to bake my banana oatmeal chocolate chip cookies in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. It says until set through and lightly golden. And this is what it looks like after it comes out. So I'm gonna eat some Frosted Flakes. So I just wanna see like, what does 39 grams of cereal actually look like? So I have this food scale. I got it from Amazon maybe three years ago. I'm gonna zero it out. I'm gonna put my bowl on there. And then I'm gonna zero it out again. And let's pour in the cereal to see. So one serving is a cup, but 39 grams. I'm doing this with one hand. So that's 40. If you ever wonder what your one serving of cereal is supposed to look like, that is what it's supposed to look like. That is like the small bowl. If I went to get a small bowl, that's what it's gonna be like. But unfortunately, I'm not eating that. I'm gonna eat two servings. So let's make it what 78 so that's 75 so i'm just going to eat that that's two servings so with milk 500 calories for your cereal so you see how bad that is but i'm going to eat it today maybe for lunch i'll eat a salad so yeah <music> Once again, I got this recipe off of Pinterest and I grabbed a rotisserie chicken from my local Kroger. So now I'm just gonna take the chicken out the bag and I'm going to peel off the skin because this recipe calls for skinless chicken. Look at the steam, it was really hot. So I'm just gonna go through, like I said, and take all the skin off the chicken. Now I'm going to cut up the chicken. Um, I left them in chunks, but after I baked it, I wish I would have made them a little bit smaller. Maybe like shredded some and not like cube like I'm doing right now. So next I'm just gonna mix everything in a bowl. I'm gonna put my chicken in first. And now I'm gonna add a can of cream of mushroom soup. The next cream of celery. If you don't like cream of mushroom, I know a lot of people do not like mushroom. You can swap it out for something else, maybe cream of chicken or another can of cream of celery. Next, I'm gonna add in some onion powder and also some garlic powder. And finally, some black pepper. This recipe, I will link it below so you can get all the ingredients and the measurements if you want to try this. Called for instant rice and I didn't have any so I just used regular long grain rice and I would recommend using instant rice because half of my rice was not cooked through. So now I'm just gonna transfer this over to a pan, add Parmesan cheese on top, and then I'm gonna stick this in my oven for about 40 minutes, I believe. 
and this is what it looks like thanks for watching this was just a quick what i eat in a day video comment below and let me know if you like videos like this thanks for watching